and directors of MHRD Innovation Cell. Government of India has established MIC at AICTE with the purpose of systematically fostering the culture of innovation in all higher education institutions across the country. The primary mandate of Innovation Cell is to encourage, inspire and nurture young students by exposing them to new ideas and processes resulting in innovative activities in their formative years fostered through the network of innovation clubs in the higher education institutions. I am profoundly delighted to take an opportunity to introduce our guest speaker, Dr. R. Sujata, a professor in the area of organizational behavior, human resources, and entrepreneurship with rich teaching and research experience. She is currently the principal entrepreneur education with Vani Entrepreneur, Vani Foundation. She has the academy faculty uh, consultant and conduct faculty orientation to enable them to deliver entrepreneurship courses. She also manages content for academy program offered for students aspiring to become an entrepreneur at early stage startups. Earlier she served as a professor with Amity Business School. She has 40 national and international conference papers, 50 plus published research papers and cases in both national and international journals to her credit. She is a consultant, entrepreneur, uh, educator and mentor to students, practice ventures and early startups. She has been associated as a resource person, trainee in various faculty development programs and student technology entrepreneurship development programs organized by Amity Center of Entrepreneurship, EDI, National Science and Technology Entrepreneurship Development Board, Department of Science and Technology, New Delhi and Ministry of External Affairs, International School of Management Paris, and delivered sessions on entrepreneurial mindset, leadership, building teams, conflict management, and entrepreneurial culture. As a coach in building the potentials of individuals, she conducts corporate trainings and workshops in topics related to personality and psychometric profiles, building trust in organization, managing group dynamics, leadership, ethics, and values. May I request Ashwita to greet our guests to the plant? 11.30 and then break sitting in an auditorium is a pain, right? Isn't it? It is. When I was a student, I would say, oh my god, why have they put me into an auditorium? Why will I even hear all this? Huh? So I'll try to make it more interactive and uh, you promise that you're going to be very friendly with me so we can have cool conversations around. Can we do that? So this is only for formality PPT is going to run, but you are going to talk to me. Will you? Yeah? Uh, so, the topic for today that uh, Divya Madam gave me was to talk on business model. How about keeping your bag somewhere and please, you just have to have one paper if possible and one pen not to take notes, but I'm going to make you draw something. So, for that. Let's go. 
Okay, must know psychology, of course, to know the consumer, you must have psychology. Anything else? Innovation and creativity must must have. Funding. No, yeah, yeah, very nice. Look at it. These are all the exceptions in the class, but excuse you of law, you have to take it as an example. So he says that entrepreneur to koi bhi ho sakta hai. Kirana dukaan bhi ho sakta hai. Usko bhi hama entrepreneur bulwa sakta hai. Very nice you go. Successful entrepreneur ki baat hai. But itna bhi easy nahi hai. Simple or first, let's talk with entrepreneur. Communication skill ho sakta hai. Would you like to be an entrepreneur? Yes, then. Thinking. So, it's not easy. If you cut the skill, it doesn't mean you become an entrepreneur. Right? Well, but I have to buy your point. Successful entrepreneurs have some niche in them and probably that's extraordinary in them. You can't avoid it. And also, how do you define success? Like, what is success? Success is not just success. 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 Very good. So, very well put. If you are talking about the short term pursuit and if you are only making 10 rupees and investing 8 rupees back and 2 rupees in the bank account, it's just a business man. Lot of businesses end up to be only a business and not entrepreneurial because they don't actually resolve a social problem or probably a pertinent problem uh, which could be an environmental problem or probably a, I do not call it as a problem but they don't seek for opportunity. A businessman probably uh, close or shut stop because they started earning profits, they are very happy with their gross margins and probably they don't think new. Being entrepreneurial means you keep revisiting on your product learn, iterate and make it better. So that's a good thought of, of be taking entrepreneurship to another way. But to start the Relika Dukan probably appears to be you after the child's device issue, right? So, Maha se next step kya karte ho? That defines it to be being entrepreneurial. But to start with, I think that is also a thought of entrepreneurship that this gentleman shared with us. Next slide. Let's check this paper when you are asked me. Can I proceed? Yes, sir. Quiet, go ahead. You want to talk to her or to me? I am not bothered doing that. Yeah. Who looking to and talking with somebody else by contacting them? Are you doing it? Listen, listen, listen. That's a question uh, to me. Yeah, but not to me. I will say it in that face. Okay, okay. 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 Can we have your attention? This far you are being silent and smiling, so I think you should not leave the tempo. Half the paper, eh? Here are very good. Some fun time. Let's under you know, let's ask this question. Please raise your hands. How many of you feel that you are 10 on 10 created? 10 on 10 created. Nine on ten created. One on ten. Nine on ten created. Five on ten created. Five on ten on created. Five 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 on created. So all of you are creative, right? So I know that some of them are apprehension and they don't want to express. But let's try your creativity because entrepreneurship is about innovation. Creativity is what we are talking. Next slide. Sketch your partner. This is fun, right? You like it or not? You can sketch your partner next to you. Left hand side or right hand side? Only one picture. Quickly. Uh, I can see that uh, there's a lot of excitement and talking.
Simple questions are there. I'm going to walk in between. We have some simple questions you're going to answer quickly and then let's see. Uh, are you there with me or not? Okay. So there's a puzzle here. Silence, silence. You're all very good. Probably better than me. So, the first question to you is, I am tall when I am young and I am short when I am old, what am I? Let me see who will answer. Mandel is what she says. She says pencil. Any other answer? Pencil. Sandal, pencil. Any other answer? Pencil stick. Pencil stick. Pencil stick. I understood, that's what I was Okay, Akhar Bhati. Anything else? Anything else? Okay, this gentleman says human. Anything else? Matchstick. Okay, matchstick. Don't tell me cigarette. Any other answer? Any other answer? That's it? Only four answers? Okay, great. So it was an eraser, it was a pencil, it is a hand stick, it is it's also human, uh, agarbatti and probably a candle and probably a cigar or a cigarette. Okay great. Let's get to the second question. There is no right or wrong answer anyways. You guys should think. If you have me, you want to share me. If you share me, you haven't watched me. What am I? Think straight, don't think beyond. Okay, go ahead. What it could be? Okay, she says it's a thought. Okay, she says it's a secret. Anything else? Time. Did you have said time, is it? Time. Anything else? Actually, you probably you should change the slides for me. Anything else? That's it? Okay, great. So, when such questions are asked to you, I mean, it was supposed to be a workshop, uh, the trainer should actually stand in the podium, speak, make some sense is what you have thought, right? So somewhere or the other, some of the ladies here must be thinking, why is she here on the floor, asking us questions. So there's a lot of question marks around you. This is something which we try to do just to gain your attention, but that's more to it. Next slide. With you, I'm Dr. Sujata. You can call me Sujata. I don't mind. Uh, I happen to head uh, academy for a foundation. We offer a lot of free of cost courses for colleges in collaboration. And it's Vagani Foundation. You can actually Google and see. We only work in startup ecosystem. There are approximately 720 startups working with us right now. Uh, 30,000 students from tier 1, 2, 3 colleges studying with us our courses in a collaboration with such institutions. So I am here as part of Vardhani Foundation to introduce you to the world called Startup. A lot of you must be from a family business. Probably you might be in your third generation of your business. Some of you might not want to join your family business. Probably you want to do something new of your own self. So let's try and have a spade thought here. Is it possible for me to actually look for a startup as a career? Okay, that's exactly what we are going to do. Probably our discussion will converge finally into a concept called business model campus, which uh, Dr. Divya Gupta has told me to do. But I am here to actually just start and make you think, why can't entrepreneurship be an option for me when I am doing my undergraduate program? That's exactly what we are going to do. Now when this question was asked to you by me, I mean most of you felt either there was a discomfort. Right? There was a discomfort. Why? Because you don't want to answer at all. Whenever a teacher asks a question, there are very few who jumps to answer. Rest of us feel, why me? You know, when I walk there and probably ask him, can I, right? Tell your name. He had this big question mark. The way he sat then and now is much different. So that's how it is. You know, there's a lot of discomfort when there is a new person coming asking you questions. And probably you would have also felt, if I answer, others would criticize. Right? I should always give a right answer. Right? That was there in the thought. Or probably if you want to dilute the entire answer, we always want to give an answer which will find fans, fan club. Right? So we give weird answers. 
like a matchbox and probably a weirdest answer I gave Sivar in the secret, you laugh when you grin, but that's definitely not the answer. But we wanted to ensure that there are people noticing us. So it could be either fear of failure, we don't answer, we don't think, probably we always wanted to give the right answer, so we wanted to be successful. Probably when a question is asked, whenever in a class also, you know, you feel inertia. You just shut stop. Right? You don't want to react at all. Yes. And you want to make the teacher feel that they can do it much more. No? You want to make her feel gone crazy, right? So these are some thoughts that happen, but trust me, thinking is unfamiliar. So if I'm going to now start talking to you about starter, a ecosystem, entrepreneurship, you know, at eleven thirty when you have no clue as a first year student why I'm here, I think thinking is unfamiliar. Perfect? So let's move ahead. Next slide, probably. So this is what the workshop is. I was given 90 minutes, I'm not boring, 75 minutes, 1 o'clock we'll try to wind up. Probably we can have some questions. I'm not going to deep dive into it, but I'm going to take you through the journey of startup together. Next slide. By the way, I have Aishwarya, she's a consultant with Barbani Foundation. Day in, day at night, she start, you know, talks to startups. We help startups to increase their revenue, find new customers, traction, technology, that's a business. So she's part of my team. So the question arises, am I at the right workshop? Okay. Now if I ask you this, I ask you raise your hands, all of you might be impressed. Divya will, I call you Divya Mahalik. Yeah? So she, you all will raise both your hands and say that, oh I like this workshop. Okay? But I have to actually ask you this question, minus any teachers here. And probably if I try to actually put a camera without an attendance. See, madam is laughing. No attendance, no camera. No faculty, and then we just stand outside in the walls and hear about the workshop and hear what all you right? So, let's first clear this air around us. Am I at the right workshop? You are at the right workshop because you are doing a BBA. Multiple reasons. Huh? I did not get admission anywhere, so I am doing a BBA. It could be the basic reason, worst reason, right? But then the best reason could be I always felt that you know a degree in management will help me to fly abroad and probably I can pursue another higher education from outside. It's the best reason. Right? In between this, a lot of us are looking for jobs, right? And we wanted to go to this one of those three big consulting companies in Burgaon and start probably earning king size salaries. That could be one reason. Some of the weirdest reason I have heard from students is I am doing a BBA MBA because probably I will get married to a nice gentleman or a lady. Could be one weird reason. Some of you are laughing and you should laugh loud and these are reasons actually. So, we are here actually probably to study and as a teacher, uh, your teachers would like to hear that you are here to study. Okay? But I feel you are here to have little fun, right? learn a little. And some of you would like to do something of your own because if you can't sit in a class for 60 minutes, trust me, you cannot work in a corporate for 16 hours. Humanly impossible. With less pay package. Right? So it's good to actually do something of your own self. And that's exactly why we are here to tell you it's easy to do something of your own self when you are a college student because you do some startup juggle around now, still mother, father is going to pay your... Uh, fees, still they are going to give you pocket money and all your mistakes will be pardoned now. And you start earning, startup comes there. Right? So that's exactly why we are here. Next slide. Okay. Some questions just to, you can use your Google and you can still answer ChatGPT, of course. So tell me, uh, what are the top three countries in the world? China. Uh, which is into global innovation index? Top three. China, China is ranked 12. Japan, 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 <laughs> okay, can you tell me where India is in Global Innovation Index? Five. Indonesia. India. <laughs> you can party in Indonesia, you don't mind. India. 100 plus? Not really? 40. 40, good. I mean, if, if Google has supported you? Yes, Yeah, good. You, are, you should be smart using 
बिजनेस आइडिया नहीं आ जाता कहीं ना कहीं अपना पैशन और इंटरेस्ट भी उससे जोड़ा जाता है राइट सो इमेजिन दैट चलिए मायंक मायंक इज प्रॉबेबली इंटरेस्टेड इन यू नो एक्सेसरीज प्रॉबेबली ही वांटेड टू बिल्ड अ ब्रांड अराउंड एक्सेसरीज एंड ही हैज पिक्ड अप टू स्टार्ट वर्किंग विद नॉन लेदर प्रोडक्ट्स एंड ही वांटेड टू स्टार्ट विद एन एक्सेसरी कॉल्ड वॉलेट वॉलेट फॉर मेन now before even designing something he is trying to figure out people and start having conversations around you know the wallet itself that's the job that you do so ask right questions to search so that you get to understand what is that you probably want in the wallet first of all you use it you use it first of all do you use it you do you use a wallet okay great uh second question uh, do you care about the things that you use and how they do they have a, like a environmental impact yes or no yes i do to a big extent like on a scale of 1 to 10 how do you like 10 being the uh, 10 being like you are sustainable and one being a, you don't care about i probably rate it at around 7 7 so that makes you a good candidate for a person who will be willing to use like vegan leather and stuff is that true very fine the first thing that should be of concern for me is utility so it should serve my purpose first and then i'll think about sustainability as well so what are the three most important things you look for in a wallet does it have to be slim does it have to be you know bulky enough that you can hold everything that you have or do you like look for the card slots has to be slim and card slots okay so like something like rich wallet something like that the display body is a rich wallet So basically, it's one of the type of wallet which has a lot of credit card space. It's fine. It's it's not only about keeping my cards, keeping my cards and my cash for me because I value both. It's not only that I keep only cards. We'll have we'll have it. Okay. Will you buy a wallet all by yourself or you want to give it to somebody? Give it to one. I'll buy I'll buy it myself. So if somebody gives you a wallet, will you pay me or you give it to me? Most I will give it. Oh, if somebody, I have gifted wallets as well, and I use them as well. So if I, if somebody gives me a wallet, I use it as well. What are the alternatives that you look in your life without a wallet? How do you carry cash? There is no wallet. If there is no, if there is no wallet, I'll keep it.